What is going on, everyone? Happy Victory Monday. It's your guy, Cole Jackson, back here in Road Graders, powered today by BetUS, and we are going to be taking a look at the Baltimore Ravens comeback, improbable comeback against the Cincinnati Bengals. What a game. If you guys are fired up about this game, if you're fired up about this team moving forward, do me a favor, hit that like button, hit subscribe if you're new here, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think, what propelled us to new heights. I mean, I'll give you my opinion right off the bat. It's that man right there in the thumbnail of Lamar Jackson just coming out in the second half and playing some outrageous football. We're going to break it down drive by drive uh, throughout the six drives on the way back to get the victory. Uh, before we jump into it, big thanks to BetUS for sponsoring this video. Lines for Monday Night Football. I'm actually going to go with the Saints money line here. I think that that's a sneaky good bet at plus 200 odds, and I'm taking the under. I think this is going to be a low-scoring game as the Chiefs defense has been playing quite well, and I think just you know lack of Rasheed Rice, I think it's going to take a while for this Chiefs offense to get it back together. Um, so I'm going with that money line, and I'm hitting that under on tonight for Monday Night Football. Right now, you can get 150% sign-up bonus on your first deposit using promo code YouTube150. Then your next two deposits, you'll get 125% deposit bonus up to a max of $2,000. Go check out BetUS. Best odds in the business. Fastest payouts. BetUS, thank you for sponsoring this video. We're going to start in drive one in the third quarter. Uh, score at the time, Ravens are down 10. So the Bengals scored uh, that touchdown at the end of the first half. They go in, they come back out, get the ball, get another touchdown. So they're up 10. The Ravens go four plays, 71 yards. Jackson to Likely for a one-yard touchdown. They bring it within three. So let's break down how this drive happened. And so one thing I want to focus on is really how the Bengals surrounded the the line of scrimmage. So here they're 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 going to be in their base defense in this in this play, but you see how they're going to creep up to the line and they're going to play this play action tight. And one thing that I noticed they did is the backside defender who's going to come on a blitz is basically charging Lamar Jackson. So we remember, let me grab my screen record or screen brush. Um we remember when we were playing the Steelers a few years ago, we were talking about the mesh, uh, the mesh charge, and that was essentially where the Pittsburgh Steelers edge players would attack the mesh point. Now, obviously, there's a play action pass, not the exact same thing, but a similar concept in the sense that on any of these play action runs, they were ask, asking their backside defender to attack Lamar Jackson, and so the play action pass wasn't as effective because they were using this player to essentially go right at Lamar rather than read run. So if you watch him come off the edge, as soon as he sees its action to that that side, typically if if it's a run, for example, he would hug the line of scrimmage and play the cutback lane. Instead, you can see right here, he went right at Lamar. So Lamar had to turn, get this ball out quick to Zay, and Zay's going to go out and do joystick things, go for 15 yards. So hell of a play. Um, but big, big adjustment there was noticing um at halftime that that's how they were playing it and i thought lamar jackson did a really good job of getting the ball out quick on those play action concepts and this is kind of what the Bengals did all game so we'll look at some cover zero looks a little bit later but like this box is absolutely stacked they were going to make the ravens throw to win this game and push the ball outside the numbers and that's exactly what lamar did and there he is hitting charlie kolar on a 55 yard seam um, let's take a look at what sets this up because he's going to start out of the slot here they're in i mean it's basically it would count as 22 personnel because ricard's in there but with likely motioning this is and one wide receiver this is basically 13 personnel where they have three tight ends because ricard is in there basically playing tight end and so not a whole lot happens here the Bengals just completely lose the route on the on the contain they're going to clear out with ricard but then run up the seam. And this is exactly what the Ravens need to do. They need to push the ball outside the hashes and down the field because this is the only way you're going to force that defense to adjust. You see them dropping into zone here. They want to take away that middle of the field, force the ball outside the numbers as much as possible. And Lamar is going to throw an absolute dot in between the zones. And Charlie Kolar is going to take this all the way down. A Derrick Henry run gets them to, the, I think it was the one yard line. And then, I think I'm just showing you this other angle. Yeah, because you're going to see 
look at that dot. Sorry, I just wanted to show you guys from the other angle where this pass landed. So ball's gonna come up, come down. That is one hell of a throw. And so one of my favorite aspects, let me freeze it at the right point. So favorite aspect of this throw and why this is such a good throw um, is this is thrown to that inside shoulder. And so the reason he's doing that is because he wants to lead against the, uh, the hook zone from the linebacker, any safety coming over, but then he has to throw it outside of the zone of the, of the corner on the, uh, I think they're in cover three here. So he's got to throw that seam on that inside shoulder. And that's thrown in stride, literally a perfect pass um, up the seam. Pretty much can't do better than that. Then the Ravens are going to come out and just a hell of a play here. Into Isaiah Likely at the back of the end zone. And really what makes this play, because they're going to leave 98s unblocked here. Because Likely has got to come off to be able to get into the end zone. So when they do the play action here, Henry has to make contact with him and watch him hit this cut, out, cut block right into his legs and this is such a beautiful play by henry because not only is he obviously taking this player out that would be the pressure guy because he's going to be the unblocked defender in the pre-snap look just because he's across from likely and likely's whole job is to leak out you can see him right there getting clear separation in behind logan wilson but the key here is the cut block knocks the defender's hands down right so when they have to throw these little lobs or a little sharp pass, they don't want this player coming in with his hands up. So if Henry comes out and just blocks him, you know, normally and tries to sit back, he can get his hands up because he's running free. So going in for the cut block and hitting that so cleanly, not only takes out the defender, but it gets his hands down, sets that up. So then we get into drive two here. So on that last drive, Lamar goes three for three, 71 yards, one touchdown. Now we're into drive two. Lamar goes 5 for 5, 59 yards, one touchdown, adds three rushes for 33 yards. The Ravens go 92 yards on 10 plays, finishes with the Kolar touchdown, and they're going to start up backed up on in their own uh, in their own territory pretty deep. They're on the 6-yard line. They're going to motion in. Love the adjustment here. So this was a lot more of what you're going to see from the Bengals throughout the second half is they're showing blitz here on the edge, and that's important because Lamar made the protection call to bring in Justice Hill, and they're going to dot across the line of scrimmage. So this isn't cover zero. I'll, we'll, we'll talk cover zero here soon, but this is what the Bengals were doing was essentially trying to cover all of the gaps that they could by spreading their line horizontally. And so the pass is going to come, and we'll pause right before the throw. And so they call that slide protection into the right, and Justice Hill is going to go out and take that man. So that was the protection call pre-snap was to, you know, you see it here. So we're, we're out and empty. We motion in Hill. And I believe they're doing that because they see the, sh the, the blitz showing here from this edge because they have one, two, three DBs stacked up against two. And there was no other offensive player over here. So they had three guys hugging the line of scrimmage. So Lamar is going to call that protection call. Justice Hill is going to... Justice Hill is going to take out that man, and Lamar throws an absolute dot to Mark Andrews. See that on the crossing route. And this is what I like about the, the adjustments by Todd Munkin. With those cover zero looks, with them stacking the line of scrimmage, they are just going to constantly, in this second half, throw these mesh concepts with these crossing routes, and that's the best thing you can do because they're just setting up man-to-man -man coverage. It's going to create these easy throwing lanes, and they're just asking their guys to be more athletic than than the defense, and that's exactly what Mark Andrews does there. So hell of a play there that goes for 27 yards. It gets them off of, like, out of their own territory. And so here you're just going to, I want to show that Justice Hill block. So you're going to see motion come in, change it up. You see how wide Hill is there. He's out over the left tackle. See right there, they're going to slide right and then ask Hill to go out there and block Jermaine Pratt coming off the edge. And just, again, you can see that throw. We'll throw that one more time. Watch Mark Andrews on that crossing route. And Lamar is just going to throw an absolute dime. Throw him perfectly. Yet another one. Ravens are going to rush up here. You see the Bengals are confused and they're going to run their counter bash play. And Lamar is literally going to throw Ronnie Stanley into a defender for 18 yards. Um, so this is going to be the counter bash. So you're going to have two options here. So you have Justice Hill basically going on like an outside zone path 
away from. That's why it's bash. It's back away from the blockers. So you're going to get these two counter pullers. So the Lamar is either going to hand off based on Trey Hendrickson read, or he's going to keep it based on that front side and backside look. So you see Lamar is looking at Hendrickson. They have two defenders here, and they have no blockers because it's a back away. So Lamar is going to keep it. McCary, I want you guys to watch McCary here for a sec. So McCary is going to be the first blocker, and he's got to turn and face or turn his guy in because. Sam Hubbard, who had a hell of a game, is going to take that jump. And so that's why Ronnie Stanley is in the way there. You see him slowly get around. But McCary, with just that high IQ play, because what could have happened here is McCary could have gone for a kickout. Sometimes that's what's going to happen on this, is you'll get a kickout and then the puller. It all depends on the placement of this defender. But if he had hit him here and tried to essentially drive him he would have been driving him to exactly where ronnie was pulling and then where lamar is running so mccary does the opposite he actually uses his momentum against him puts his outside hand on that outside shoulder and turns him inwards to take him away from the play so now ronnie you can see in this <laughs> in this snap he has to pull around that which isn't ideal but he does it because he's athletic enough lamar pushes him on the back and then again takes that for 18 so just a hilarious play there um to see the athleticism from ronnie to see the athleticism from lamar jackson it's obviously great to see keep rolling here play action pass and that throw off the pump fake is just a thing of beauty so you're going to get two things here so they're going to play action and trey hendrickson is going to cut inside ronnie stanley and knock that hand down and create that inside lane so he's going to get a little bit of a pressure here lamar is going to step outside and this is what i think lamar did so good in the second half stays com calm and composed he takes that step to the outside look at his feet his feet are planted the whole time he's still got that base he's going to pump fake widen his base and because he does that because his mechanics are so clean throughout this play he's still able to deliver a strike pump fake boom right on target to, to Zay Flowers on the crossing route. So again, this is where you go back to that Chiefs game when they were getting some of those interior pressures, Lamar's mechanics started to break down a little bit and he was kind of throwing off his back foot. You see it right there. He stays low. He stays wide. He mo goes through his progressions throughout the play, steps inside of the pressure, continues to you know make it work. Now here we're going to get, I think probably Lamar's worst play um of well maybe not worse because of the fumble but worse pass because this was wide open mark andrews breaks wide open this was todd munkin's best play call just an absolute beauty that sets them up at the one they end up scoring it doesn't matter but here's what they're going to do so they're going to motion derrick henry they're going to fake the swing pass so by doing that it pulls up this defender and then they're going to clear out with rashad bateman i believe at the top of your screen so they're going to clear that out right there on the post and because the pump fake to Derrick Henry over here pulled up the linebacker, Mark Andrews is completely wide open. And Lamar just underthrows it. Simple as that. But doesn't matter. Completion. They're going to go back into their goal line. They just scored on a similar play. They're going to go play action. And Lamar is going to throw an absolute dime to Charlie Kolar coming back across Jermaine Pratt. And I just screwed up my video. Hold on this back up Go over to 255 there we go Lamar's gonna hit that play action and then again similar to that other pass we looked at before he's got to hit that outside shoulder right here that's his throwing lane Jermaine Pratt's on the back shoulder, and he just throws it perfectly. Nice and low. Charlie adjusts to it extremely well, about as well as you could have asked. So, again, Lamar just absolutely cooking on that second drive. We get into the third drive. Lamar's going to go 5 for 9, 58 yards, a touchdown, add two rushes for two yards. So this, the Bengals go out and score. I believe this was a Jamar Chase um, screen play that went for the touchdown. The Bengals are still at 38 here. Ravens down 10 with 8.54 left in the fourth. And they're going to go 11 plays, 70 yards for another touchdown. Take a look at the key plays that got us there. 
Similar concept here, so you're going to get a little stunt on the inside against Tyler Linderbaum and Daniel Falele. Nose is going to come across, and is it Hubbard that wraps in? Yep, Hubbard's going to wrap in from the edge, so they're going to get a wide one. You see Roger Rosengarten uh, passing or pointing to that. Linderbaum's going to come off a little late, but good adjustment here from Lamar Jackson. I think the O-line did a good job, kept him in front, but Lamar Jackson, again, is going to slide to his right, and as soon as, let's see if we can get it frozen on the right, right there. As soon as he slides to his right, the base is set nice and wide. There's no happy feet. It's it's the same stuff. So calm and cool in that pocket. Hits Mark Andrews for an easy completion. Just making easy throws today um, and making it easier on himself. Now we're going to get one of those cover zero looks. I wish I had the other angle, but you see how they're just dotted across the line. And they have defenders everywhere. And then they're man up over top of them. And so this was kind of the Bengals go to down the stretch. They want to show that cover zero. And then this is going to be the bailout. So the center is going to slide to the right. They're going to bail out that defender. They get a free blocker or a free rusher almost coming here. Justice Hill is going to step up, make a key block. Lamar stays in. And this is such, I wish I had, I don't know why I didn't post the other angle unless it's after this. Um, but the best way to beat this is outside throws because you got man up coverage out there. Do I have that throw? No, it's not the same play. Um, but this is just, that's why this is such a dot is because he's going to adjust to that. He's going to hit his breaking route. And again, he stands tall all the way through, throws a perfect outside, uh, outside out pass to Zay Flowers for the first. Justice Hill picks that up. Hell of a pass pickup by Justice Hill on that one. The Ravens keep mo moving here. Well, maybe this is the play. Yeah, it is. I did grab that play. Okay, so here, here's what you're going to see. They motion in Mark Andrews because they're going to have him chip. So they change the protection. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven bangles all across. And here's your cover zero look. You got your other defenders man up across. So as they drop back, that's where Hill's going to make this block. You get Mark Andrews chipping and then leaking. And you see that break. Lamar stands tall, throws that out. And so watch how the protection comes in. Hill's going to make that block. I mean, the offense does a real good job of making of keeping him clean here. You see Rosengarten's going to pass off Hubbard and then block two defenders. Let's go back and take a look at that from the other angle. So you see they're going to motion in Mark Andrews. This is going to be the chip. That's where they bring up the other defender. Rosengarten's going to hit right here he knows he's got a double here with uh with Falele, so he's gonna pass off and then go get 24 so he's gonna have a two for one special so that block paired with justice hills pass pro pickup keeps lamar as clean as you can against that look right like that's a, a cover zero look they're sending all the pressure um so this is something that the ravens did really well in the second half they adjusted about as well as you could to these cover zero looks you're gonna get it again on this play we're stacking the line of scrimmage, and then we're playing man across. Just a standard cover zero look. Ravens are just going to continue to keep beating this. They're going to make another protection call. Lamar standing tall. Hits Zay Flowers again. So again, we're going to see this, and the Bengals are going to bail out their two middle defenders, but they're stepping up because they're trying to influence where your protection is. So they want to get basically linemen or backs or tight ends committed to them and then have them block nobody because you're bailing out and it creates a free rusher elsewhere. But you see right there, Justice Hill again in there doing the dirty work in pass pro. Keeps Lamar clean just long enough to get that ball out. And again, what did we see on the last two passes? Out route, Zay Flowers outside the numbers, landing that ball in here. That's how you beat the cover zero. It's that and crossing routes, and that's all Todd Munkin dialed up in the second half. That's what was so beautiful about this game plan and the adjustments at halftime. We're going to grab the other angle of this too, and you guys will see what I mean. Lamar's going to call the protection call here. Right there, he adjusts the protection. Watch Justice Hill step up and pass pro. Keep them clean, and there's that free rusher that they inevitably create from the bailout. Um, so doing, you know, Bengals are doing good here um, in terms of creating that. So they're going to stack up the line of scrimmage again. Justice Hill steps up with another beauty and pass pro. 
Lamar's going to hit that crossing route. Again, out routes, crossing routes. That wasn't quite a cover zero look, but they're just creating those easy throwing lanes. And then you get the play that was just an absolute thing of beauty. Lamar's going to fumble the snap. Rosengarten's going to get beat on the inside. Lamar's going to tell him, get off me. And then watch Likely in the, in the backfield here. I don't know what is going on in this secondary. Isaiah Likely, by the, like, watch Likely. He's just going to stand here for a little bit and let Lamar kind of figure things out in the back. And you got one, two defenders for the Bengals who just completely lose Isaiah Likely. And Lamar just throws that ball literally perfectly. You see Likely's just going to sneak to the open space right here and throw that ball up where only his guy can get it. Insane. You're going to see it from the other angle here. The cameraman kind of screws up. You don't see the throw come through, but you will see this play. Boom. And watch Lamar throw this off platform. So there you see Lamar Jackson's angle. The only place he can throw this because he's got two defenders is over in this area and likely he's just got to move to it. And that's what Lamar is going to do. He's going to anticipate that. Again, you can't see it because the cameraman stopped moving. You're going to see Sam Hubbard fall to the ground in agony over what just happened. Drive number four, after Joe Burrow's interception, the Ravens get the ball back, leads to the 56-yarder. Lamar is going to make a couple key plays. He goes three for six for 32 yards on this play. This is going to be that catch to Tylen Wallace. Oh, no. I must have forgot to put that play in. Tylen Wallace had a 16-yard play that set this one up. This is going to be the four-yarder to Mark Andrews where he gets out of bounds and sets up the field goal. Um, that was actually, I think I have the plays in reverse. This is going to be the completion to Thailand. Um, so this, the play we just watched, we'll go back to that happened after this play. I just have them out of order. My bad. Thailand Wallace is just going to run a, a, a deep dig here. And Lamar is going to just read that zone coverage and get that out quickly. 19 yards. I, I, this is one of Thailand Wallace's best plays. He's going to turn. He's going to take that and then watch as soon as he catches it, he turns it upfield and takes that for about another five yards. Um, so that sets up this play that I just have out of order. This was a crucial play because that, that was a 56-yard field goal, and you know nobody's open on this play. Lamar is going to continue to extend it. He's going to make enough room to get four yards, four crucial yards that turn the 60-yard field goal into a 56-yard field goal. Obviously, we know what happens. Justin Tick Tucker shuts us all up, hits that 56-yarder, and then Derrick Henry... Closing time, ending this. Just this is one of my favorite plays um, since I've been watching film. So we're gonna see three things happen on this play. We're gonna focus on 79, 42, and 16. So let's start with let's start with Ronnie because Ronnie's block is key. So he's gonna bang down on this. So this is a toss play. He's just got to pass off the three tech here. To be able to get into the second level but his end goal pre-snap is go bang and then get into jermaine pratt pratt and that's what he's gonna do bang right there get into jermaine pratt block him into 24 which cuts off 55 so he essentially gets a three for one see right there three defenders because of ronnie's athleticism getting so far up continuing to run he blocks three he doesn't block three guys but he basically blocks three guys now let's go back because Tylen Wall is going to have a roller coaster play. So he's got to chip down, right? Because this is going to be a pin and pull. So he's supposed to pin down on 91. They pull around. He's going to miss that pin, and Ricard has to pick him up. So you're going to see him come down, and he's going to miss, right? Trey comes outside of him. Not great. Ricard's going to make that block. Rather than give up, so rather than this going outside of Trey Hendrickson, Henry's going to read off of Pat Ricard, picking up 91, getting outside of him, and he's going to cut this inside. But Tylen, because he doesn't give up on the play, comes out and smokes Cam Taylor Britt, plus Ronnie's doing that right there. Boom. And that's going to launch Derrick Henry. So this was, I would say, a roller coaster play. Just incredible plays by everybody. Derrick Henry reading that to get inside um the edge defender that was supposed to be pinned ricard adjusting to him tylen wallace absolutely smashing cam taylor Britt, and ronnie stanley launching this that's just four guys on this play making incredible plays 
to get down there, close this one out, and your Baltimore Ravens are going to get the win. So that's what I have for you guys. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this breakdown. Hit subscribe if you're new here, and thank you to BetUS for sponsoring this video.